Hello, hello, G uh, algebra students. How are you? Uh, we're going to do the second part. This is going to be uh, the second part of section uh, lesson three four. So this will be lesson three four B. We'll see, and it's going to uh, revolve around the same goal that we're going to solve multi-step inequalities. But for day two, we're going to deal with multi-step inequalities with special solutions. So like we had when we did multi-step equations where we could get an identity or a, a no solution situation. We're going to have the same idea here. It's not going to be called an identity because that's just with a, if we're dealing with equations, but very similar to, to what we did um, with solving equations. Now I wanted to review here uh, the steps for solving multi-step inequalities. Okay, so first we look to simplify each side if there's any distributing or any combining of like terms or both. Those are the first two things you got to do on each side. All right. Once you're done with that, then you can uh, make sure the variable terms are on the same side. So if you have to, you can add or subtract the variable term from one of the sides. Then if the variables are on the same side, um, then it's like a two-step equation. We get rid of the constant on the on the side of the variable, and then we will finally. Um, so right here, we'll get rid of the constant by doing addition or subtraction. And then finally, the last thing we do is the multiplication or division um, of the coefficient. And that would isolate the variable. So we're going to practice that with a couple different um, inequalities. We're going to actually do three examples here together, I believe. And that's going to be this video. So please take good notes on these examples. And if you have questions, write them down so you can ask them uh, next time you see me. So the first one we're going to do says, what are the solutions to this inequality. 10 minus 8a is greater than or equal to 2 times 5 minus 4a. All right. So like we said before, we want to first look to see if there's any distributing on either side or any combining of like terms. And I think the only thing we can see there is distributing on the right side. So if we're making this our wall again, still bring that uh, inequality symbol with us, but this will be your distributing. And you can definitely change this to plus and negative. So you'll still have the 10 minus 8a right here, greater than or equal to. Now when you distribute, it's 2 times 5, which is 10, um, plus, so negative, 2 times negative 4a is going to be negative, so it's plus negative 8a. All right, and I'm going to actually erase this first part and, and, and write it like that <coughs> with a plus a negative, 10 plus negative 8a. Okay? Alright, so next step. Now you might look at this and see something right away. But, let's do the next step. And the next step would be to get the variable terms on the same side. So let's get rid of the variable term from one side. And let's say we get rid of it from this right side. So we're going to do the opposite, which is adding 8a. Because it's a negative 8a. That'll cancel it out when you have a negative 8a plus 8a. And you must do that to the other side. And guess what? We have negative 8a plus 8a here as well, which will cancel out there as well. Don't forget that actually cancels out on that side too. So you're left with 10 is greater than or equal to 10. All right, now we had situations like this uh, last chapter with equations. 10 is always equal to 10. We have to look at the symbol and see if it is true. Is 10 either greater than or equal to 10? Yes, it's true because we have that or equal to. So that means when you have something like this, there's no variables anymore. This is an example of with an equation it'd be called an identity, but this is we're gonna call it, we're just gonna say there's all real numbers is our solution. So it says one of the solutions, all real numbers would be your answer. Because the variables are gone, so it does not matter what you plug in for the variable. As long as it's a real number and you plug it in, it'll make this inequality true. So that's our first um, situation. Could be all real numbers. Um, the second one, I think, is going to be our second situation. So it says, what are the solutions to this one? 6m minus 5 is greater than 7m plus 7 minus m. Why don't we just change these to plus negatives right away? Plus negative 5 and plus negative, we'll make that negative 1m. So why don't we just rewrite this? So we have 6m plus negative 5 is greater than 
seven m plus seven plus negative one m. Remember, if there's no number in front of the variable, it's, the coefficient is just a one. In this case, since it's negative, it's negative one. So we're going to do the, check that first step, which to re review is looking for distributing property or any like terms to be combined. So if I look at both sides, I don't see any parentheses. So there's going to be no distrib no dis distributing. Um, but then I look for combining like terms. And I see on the right side, we have a 7m and a negative 1m. Those are alike, so let's make combine those and make the sign smaller. So this will still be 6m plus negative 5. It's greater than, that's going to be 6m, because 7m plus negative 1m is 6m plus 7. <clears throat> All right, um, variable. Let's get the, rid of the variable term from one side. We want it on the same side. So let's get rid of the 6m by subtracting 6m. And we have to do that over here as well. And this actually cancels out here as well. So again, the variable is gone in this example. So we have negative 5 is greater than 7. Is that true? Ever? No, negative 5 is not greater than 0. Or sorry, it's not greater than 7. So that means there is no solution. So an example like this, when you have the variables canceled out on both sides, and then you end up with an inequality that's not true at all, then there is no solution. All right, those are two different types. We could have all real numbers when you have variable gone and it is true, um, or the variable is gone and, there, and it is not true, that's no solution. Um, let's see, so let's actually go to this one. I'm going to do one of these together with you. We'll figure out you can do the other one. So follow along, we'll do um, number eight, letter A together. So letter A, let's look for any distributing or combining of like terms on either side. I don't see any. So let's just take this one step at a time. Let's get rid of the variable from one side. So if I subtract, let's go to the, get rid of this side, 5n, to cancel that out, I also subtract 5n over here. And that cancels out as well. So when you do that, those are ends are gone on both sides. So this is going to be a special situation. So we have n is less than or equal to negative one. <sighs> is n less than or equal to negative one? Last time I checked, it's not less than negative one. It's not equal to negative one. So this would be that's not true. So. The answer would be no solution. Oops. That's what I was going to Alright, no solution for this one. I'm going to have you do the second one by yourself. So why don't you go ahead and try to solve B on your own and answer a question or two about it. Now, hopefully you got it right. If not, that's okay. This is when you can learn if you make mistakes. So we're going to go through this step by step again. Make sure you follow these steps. If you don't have these written down, then how are they going to help you? Um, how are you going to get them in your head? So <clears throat> first we look to see if there's any distributing or combining of like terms. I see no parentheses, so that means no distributing. Um, like terms. I see like terms on the right side. I'm going to divide this here. Um, this would be, I'm just going to rewrite this. Yeah, I'm going to erase this and rewrite it. So I'm going to rewrite it so that it's a little bigger. We have 8 plus 6x is greater than or equal to 7x plus 2. Let's change this to plus negative 1x. All right, now we'll make our divider here. On the right side, again, there is like terms. We have a 7x and a negative 1x. That makes 6x. So we still have 8 plus 6x is greater than or equal to 6x plus 2. All right. Next step again. I did that one. Get the variable terms on the same side by either adding or subtracting. So let's get rid of it from one side. Let's get rid of it from this side. It's minus 6x here to get rid of that. We do that over here as well. 
Remember, 6x minus 6x, that is also 0. So that's gone. If you want to write 0, you can. But you don't have to because we know that those just change to... They just are going to be 8 and 2. But we have our sign greater than or equal to. Now our, our, we need to ask ourselves, is 8 greater than or equal to 2? True? Yes? Maybe no? Yes, it is true. 8 is greater than 2, so there would be 8 greater than or equal to 2. So this is all real numbers could be our solution. Any number you can plug in for the variable and get a true inequality. So that's section... Um, That is section 3.4b, all right, when we're dealing with multi-step equations with special solutions. Please take note of that. Make sure you have quality notes and you have any questions that you're ready to ask next time. All right, we'll see you.